Hello everyone, this is Jared, and I'm going to be talking about the Windows Defender Exploit Guard, um, which was originally called Emmet Enhanced Mitigation Experience Toolkit. Um, the Emmet is actually supposed to be discontinued July 31st of 2018. Um, they actually integrated into the Windows Defender um, Microsoft package for Windows 10. Uh, Windows Defender, this is basically an overview of it, we're, we're going to be specifically looking at Windows Defender Export Guard. Uh, so we'll be looking at the tax service reduction, control folder access, export, export protection, and network protection. Um, this is basically an overview of the Export Guard. Uh, basically it looked for a minimize the attack surface. Um, it basically broke down the exportation techniques, contain damage to prevent persistence, and limit the windows of exposure to threats. Um, the first thing that we'll be looking at then in Windows Defender is the control folder access, um, how it works, how to turn it on, how to turn it off. Um, it's very compatible with your stuff. Um, it works with the smart application whitelisting. Um, the nice thing about it is if you get a ransomware on your computer, it will. Uh, basically protect you from getting encrypted so you don't your stuff doesn't get uh, encrypted the only bad thing is if you're not you if you don't have those folders in this list um, it I mean it doesn't protect you from that those will get encrypted but anything that's in that list you'll be safe the other one that we're going to briefly talk about would be the network protection um, this one's pretty pretty cool because what it does, it basically looks at your, your device and any outbound connections to it. Um, it looks at the, your, your, wall, your URL reputation in the cloud. Um, it also looks at anything that's trying to grab to um, the out, outbound connection. So if, it, if they realize it's not safe through the cloud intelligence in the Windows service, it will block that connection to, to the outside um, and it will give you an alert at the bottom. Um, you can also look at these kind of alerts in the event viewer, um, but yeah, it, it's 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 pretty neat how how it works. Um, it's it's very lightweight, so it doesn't bother on your computer. It uses your local cache um, for fast lookups with the Windows service. The last thing we're talking about would be the Exploit Guard, um, which reduces memory vulnerabilities, restricts access to the APIs and functions, and protects legacy applications. Um, which which is pretty nice. Um, it's very easy to use. You could use it with your PowerShell um, group policy, um, a system conf configuration manager, um, and then also, uh, uh, like I said, the PowerShell. Um, the nice thing about using the PowerShell, um, if you have a older version of Emmet that you're using, um, the the nice thing about it, you can use PowerShell to convert it over. To export guard so you have all the same settings like I mentioned earlier you can use the event viewer which I'll show you real quick um, to see the different events there is a list out there um, which I'll bring to class um, due to kind of time constraints I can't show you everything um, but you can look at the different events what number what each number represents in the, the event viewer all right so get started you want to open up the windows Defender Security Center, and then you want to go to Virus and Threat Protections for the the control access. Um, so I already have it on, but by default it's actually shut off. Um, but once you go in there, is it basically it basically uh, does everything that's defaulted um, to here. Um, so all your document folders and the public and your personal one, pictures, videos, etc. If you want to add your own personal folder, you just click this here. And then you can add one. So I'll just add that folder there. And then you just got to do the acknowledge the, the change. And then as you can see, it adds it in there. So if you get any ransomware or anything like that, um, it will protect these folders and nothing else. Um, if you ever need to get around it, um, for whatever reason, you can click on this right here. Um, and you can add an exception. So for different programs or anything that needs to take do any modifications to certain folders, you can add them in here, so it, it will work. The next thing that we're going to talk about um, briefly, there's not much I can really show you because, like I said, it's just a flip of a button. But it is that network one? Um, you can configure right in here. 
Um, I haven't really messed with that one yet, so I can't exactly show you how to turn it on, but I believe it's already turned on as default. The last thing I'm going to talk about would be the exploit protection. Um, that is basically the original term of Emmet, um, what this was made of. Um, these are the different things that protect you from. Um, they're basically turned on by default. Um, as you can see, it looks at the flow guard, etc. Um, this is the program setting. So this is basically what it's defaulted is with all the Microsoft, um, the Microsoft EXEs, uh, so your Office programs, Internet Explorer, and everything. The cool thing it looks at all the Java, um, your Adobe. Uh, Flash players, all that kind of stuff is in here as well. So if it if any attacker tries to use those and it red flags it, it will cut that that ex exe off that tries to use these different kinds of exe executables. Um, so it doesn't it compromise your computer. Um, I'll show you real quick how how it works. Is we'll use Notepad. Um, Notepad uses a Win32 stack, so we'll just enable that. Um, that. So you can just add a program. You can type in the program name. Uh, so we'll add that in. You can customize however you want it to be. But I'm just going to use that Win30, the Win32K system calls. So you just do the override system. And then on the audit is for businesses. So if you need to test anything before you deploy it to multiple computers, you can test it with the audit. And then you should be good to go. So we'll apply that. And then when I go run Notepad, as you can see, it stops it. So it's a nice thing if, if your computers have vulnerabilities with Notepad or anything like that, you can stop them before it actually executes. Um, so I'm going to remove it. So I'm going to remove that. And then as you can see, it started working again. So it's a, it's a cool program. Um, you can definitely use it to your advantage to give you more protection than just regular antivirus. Um, the other thing I was going to show you would be that event viewer. Uh, so basically it shows you any any attacks that happen on your computer or anything that blocks it coming into here. Um, and it'll show you the event ID which you can look up online um, to tell you exactly what it is. And it also gives you a little description down here which this one that I clicked on it, it was blocking uh, Bonjour, which works with the iTunes, um, so it doesn't like that program. But yeah, I mean, that's basically, in, in a nutshell, uh, Windows Defender Exploit Guard. Uh, if you got any questions, let me know. I'll bring stuff into class to let you guys see as well. Um, there is a video out there, which is very informational. Um, it's actually through Microsoft and such, which I watched many times already. Uh, it's called that Windows Defender Exploit Guard. I'm reducing the tax service while balanced productivity. Um, it's an hour long video, but it gives you a lot of insight on different things of the program and different examples as well. So if you got any questions, let me know. Take care. I'll see everybody in class.